some 60 moons have passed since our last mass raising. Among the challenges that day, the most troublesome were the discovery that twisted block lines make an efficient break and a stern clutch that jumps ship. Just to rest on, and I don't know what that... Well, Actually, it keeps you from just having this slide the, off of the rail, right? Well, not, exact, well, not, a, not exactly. The 11 inches was um, from where the stick comes up. Yeah to where we thought we'd do the knot, or to the rail. This is your... Yeah, and it's going to rest on the rail. Right. But we don't know for sure exactly where that's going to be. So right. that's why we fudged it up here to have a six inch. Oh, I see. And that then, way you have some room to move. Yeah, and then we can uh, strengthen this by make, not coming down like that, but doing like this, if, if there's yeah, room. If you have to put your not, out, notch out here further, you might want to stabilize that. Right, more. but we don't want to drill this notch until no. uh, we okay. actually build the product. So what we really need at the base of this is 18 inches. Okay. That's what I was aiming for. Let's see. And then the 32. Half of that is not. Yeah. The, the 32. And then the, then the, the uh, stick goes on down here to the... Uh, to uh, the top of the rudder. So you're making a template? Yeah, just to get me started at least. So here. Are you going to have to use that grease pencil? I don't think your pencil yeah. will work with it. Now, if a beer bottle would work, I'd volunteer to drink a beer. <laughs> That's way too small. Oh. <laughs> um, not unless you're drinking out of a jug. <laughs> that could be arranged. Close to the arch we want at the top. Okay, so you uh, you cut out that arch on a plastic advertisement from the bucket, <laughs> and then that gives you uh, the at least the beginning. Yeah, and you could see I even altered it when I cut it yeah. because I didn't want it to be quite that tight of an arch. Okay. I wanted it to slope more gradually. Yeah, at the moment I don't see it, but go ahead. Okay, so I started right out here at the end of the piece of cardboard and got, went up to my five inch marking. Again, these are estimates, okay? And then we should end in a similar way down here, I think. Uh, nope, it's going to turn, so let me turn it. We're going to have it come something like this. From there. Am I right? No. I have it come to here, I think. Okay. Let's see if this slope looks like it will work. Okay. Now we're going to need to connect these two pieces, and that would be coming, dipping in, and coming back. Well, we're, aren't, aren't we going to do this? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yep. Okay. That so, might be freehand. Yeah, I don't know any other way to, to do that. We don't have anything big enough. Circular. What's that on top of the? No. Oh, we could use that. Um, what do I have that? You're talking about the wood piece there underneath the uh, M&M's thing? Yeah, but that's not even big enough. Huh? That's not big enough either. Well, we got, how about a five-gallon bucket? No. Um, how about a garbage can? Garbage can. How about a garbage can lid? Uh, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that is good, isn't That it? is real close. Yeah. It's just a matter of getting to it. And maybe... I want the slope to be more gradual. As you can tell, this because this is freehand, you can be off by a little bit, and it's not. Hey, this be a big this deal. whole this whole job is freehand. <laughs> this is the hideaway. We do things like that a lot. Anything 
is that you have the visual guide. All right, there you go. So you Ready got both pieces out of a two. Now, and this isn't big enough to do your support piece, I don't think. Um, I don't, yeah, I, actually it'd be pretty close. All right, well, let's invest. Yeah, think it's, it's not. Just got a new corded jigsaw with a dust collector. All right, now we're going to have some fun. Online search has produced one important conclusion. The mass crutch most likely to succeed for the hideaway class sailboat depends upon removing the rudder assembly and using the gudgeons to mount the crutch. The thought of removing hideaway's rudder assembly, the one that has not been removed since it was installed some four decades ago, is not pleasant or likely. I stumbled upon indistinct photos of a new 23 with a mass crutch that appeared to be attached to the rudder post using the tiller mounting bolts and plates or perhaps a metal post. I could not be sure. Now, the crutch pictured did not meet our specification, therefore extensive modification is necessary. Our requirements are that the mast stand proud of the stern rail enough to allow access to the cabin and brook no concerns about the crutch jumping ship at an inopportune moment. Thus, this video depicts the design process we use to develop modifications required, as well as the hope that the finished product actually works. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Well, it has to. Coming together, but it now, doesn't. The reason why it looks bigger than what you saw online is because we want the mass to be high enough to walk under, or stoop under at least. To get yeah, and, and what I was thinking, um, uh, this could do uh, two things. We can have the hole up here for this roller, mm -hmm. you know, and this will be for when we're working on the boat. Right. And then uh, there's nothing to stop us from drilling one down here lower and putting in another roller for transportation. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it doesn't need to be that high when we're moving the boat. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that and, and uh, like I was saying, this is uh, probably temporary because we just don't know where the notch for the railing is going to be. Yeah, you might be. be able to move it back. It's, an inch it's, or two. Yeah, it could be as far back as there. And then I want to have this be solid, so I might replace it uh, just with a doll or something. It doesn't have to be real, uh, you know, real strict. But so we'll uh, go down to the boat tomorrow and All put right. it together, see what All happens. Right. The only thing would be if we're uh, pushing the mast backwards, it could pop out. Doesn't take a whole lot to do that either. So we're having a uh, discussion as to how to fix this. I want to put a line here to here. We're already going to run lines from there to there and there to there. And that's to get the uh, uh, perceived. Um, with warships, so really, those aren't necessary. It's not not going to go that way. So we're good there. But yeah, this could just be a hole with a clip that would stop it. Well, that's the problem. Otherwise, um, this looks like a good solution. It's a little bit tall, maybe. After fitting the rough draft of the mass crutch to the hideaway, we realize that the stern rail notches may not prevent the apparatus from exiting the ship via the stern. This simple eye screw, small line, and an old bungee cord hook may be the solution. Here Linda operates our vintage manual drill press, read old and wobbly just like us. Hey, complete accuracy is for surgeons. The holes are needed for the tiller bolts and plates that support the mast crutch. Linda wanted me to shape the support bottom to match the slight curve of the rudder post, but I don't think it's necessary. Hmm. Stay tuned. Our first and only test will be the long-delayed mast maintenance project this fall. Try this at your own risk. We'll let you know how it goes for us.